Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with PYS. We've got a question from a fellow voter asking, Hi Jeff, can you explain the difference uh, between flexible and rigid solar panels for my boat? Which one lasts longer and produces the highest efficiency years later? Good question, Rob. Now, the difference between uh, flexible and rigid panels has sort of been um, reduced over time, right? Um, when you consider the efficiency, and that's a part of the question, you can actually buy a mono panel, uh, flexible, or a mono panel that is rigid that are gonna be the same size and the same efficiency. So it is absolutely possible to buy a mono panel that is both rigid or flexible that are identical size, identical efficiencies. Now that has been changing over time and flexible has been catching up with high efficiency panels that we have on some of the rigid panels. So really there's no difference on that front. Um, the other thing too is about durability. Um, Flexible solar panels, if they're properly affixed and they're not flapping in the wind, and I've seen that where they get damaged because they're not properly affixed to a surface, either canvas or they were just left there and then they end up cracking. Because remember, a flexible panel is inherently a little bit more fragile than a rigid panel. You need to make sure that your rigid panel, not your rigid, but your flexible panel is properly mounted so that it's gonna give you a long last, a long life. On my boat, I have six solar panels. Uh, they were installed about eight years ago, and they're still doing the same output that I had when I installed them. Now, I took the necessary precautions to make sure that my flexible solar panels were babied and really and installed properly on the boat. So there's not a lot of difference between rigid and flexible in terms of durability as long as the flexible pet solar panels are properly installed. If you're gonna be taking the panels on and off your boat and you don't mind having a bulky panel on your boat like rigid, certainly the rigid is tougher because there's an aluminum frame around the panel and you could maybe ding the corners, you could scratch a little bit the frame, you can take it on and off, but the flip side is now you've got a panel that might be way heavier than a flexible panel. So here's an instance of a flexible solar panel. You can see, I mean, it's, it's the thickness of a quarter, right? Um, it's very, very narrow and uh, or thin so it's obviously it has been but you don't want this to be bending in the wind so it is tough but not as tough as a flexible so as a rigid solar panel so that's the differences between a rigid and a flexible the big issue or concern why we end up choosing a lot more flexible than rigid is because there's a lot more mounting options that are available like mounting on a hardtop mounting on a canvas and because it's so lightweight uh, it's easier to install so that might be one of the factors that you need to consider when you're doing flexible solar panels or rigid solar panels on your boat. Thanks for the question and thanks everyone for watching.